I want to, if I can focus on this string, I would love to. Okay, tell me when you can. I think we're good. Okay. I'm just recording this nail so that people can see that when you come back. Oh. Oh. Like that? Hold on, no. Let me try that one more time. Okay. We gotta do it again. Just keep in mind you don't wanna rip put your whole like hand right in front of the nail. Oh, for <laughs> sake. Well, you're on the wrong I... angle. How was I supposed to know that? So what you guys were just seeing Joel do is chalk lining where the walls are going to actually go. And they do this for accuracy, is that right? Now you'll know where to put the walls. And then for you guys, I was like, they have to be able to see it. So I'm, I went through and I spray painted the lines. Joel's gonna actually have to go through and re-chalk because these aren't as precise. <laughs> Sorry, Joel. This is going to be, let me step back here. This is actually going to be the last time you guys are going to see the room all the way open because walls are going in. And just for a visual, I don't know if you guys need the visual, I know I do. So we actually lined out where the kitchen countertops are going to go, cabinets are gonna go. And then we had to change the dimension of the island because it was sticking too far out into the family room. Here is our dining room where the table is going to go. And then you can see the out, full outline of the master, and the walk-in closet, and the walk-in closet was so big and we didn't want this to the master bedroom. So we kind of put this little nook in the wall. I'm not a fan of nooks, but here we are. <laughs> And then this is the door to the bathroom, door to the closet. And then this is, I mean, it, this is where I really, the bathroom is where I really needed this lined out. There is more room for a bigger shower, but we don't want it to dwarf the tub in the corner. Well, and the hard part too is if you go, we're already bigger than any shower kit can be. The biggest shower kits are about a foot shorter in each direction. And so this is gonna have to be a custom build. And if we go any bigger, that's just bigger custom build. Yeah, I really like it. You can see the spigots we've got for the tub. No that's really in, fun. Um, and then the countertop. And we actually lengthened the countertop when we moved the plumbing. You can see it got moved. <laughs> For me, the part I've been looking forward to the most is picking out like the fixtures for the house. So today we came down to Mountain Land Kitchen and Bath. This is their showroom. And you have to, you it's by appointment only. Yes, which means you're gonna get dedicated time in the showroom with a showroom consultant and no other customers are gonna be in there bothering you. And that's pretty cool. I like that because a lot of times I have questions and I just feel like I need my questions answered. Sometimes I get feeling distracted and so the one-on-one -on -one attention is going to be exactly what I need. So this is very exciting. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good. I'm Shawnee. Yes, nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. And we are not going to shake nope. hands because of we want to maintain our social distance but we're gonna get to know each other well. I know that the style that we're going for is like a transitional, so maybe you can help me pick out a few things that will fit in the transitional kind of category. And then I'm still unsure about color-wise. So maybe you guys can help me decide what you think would be best. I want to do gold everything, but I don't want to be overdone on gold. And I also have a really hard time knowing what to um, mix and match with and what to mix and match with. Are you good at that kind of stuff? Maybe you can help me out there. <laughs> okay, sounds good. I'm thinking that I know what colors I'm going to be doing in the kitchen, I think. <laughs> Don't quote me. But what I would like to do is I want you guys to go to my Instagram and I want you to help me decide 
what would be the best for the bathrooms? So you know that I've got the main bathroom upstairs and the small bathroom upstairs, and I'm thinking that I'm going to do the, I don't know, I don't wanna call it like standard, but I'm thinking like in the silver family in the main bathrooms, but I need you guys to help me decide. And then I'm thinking to make the bathroom upstairs, like the main bathroom upstairs more special, like the master. I'm thinking more of a gold. It would be nice if you guys could come and tell me your opinions on today's Instagram post. I'm gonna post a picture in here because this is too exciting not to. They don't have the exact tub in the showroom that I'm going with. Um, that's like the one thing I am official on because we had to have the plumbing, but they do have so many beautiful tubs here. Yes, she knows exactly what I'm wanting. She just put this, the like gold, more goldy faucet over by the tub. <gasps> what do you think? Should we go with one of these in the tub? I won't lie. Is this it? Is this the same? Yeah. Really? Okay, this is good. Thank you guys. Like two inches too smaller. So you guys know how difficult it's been, like debating on the size. Okay, so we know we're gonna have one like this on the side, and then I definitely want one right here. And it's nice to visualize. Like it's really nice to visualize the fact that there's that's where the heads are gonna be, and it's gonna be bigger than this, Joel. So what I'll do is I'll write up the bid, send the bid off to the plumber so they can look through it, and then I will send a spec book mm -hmm. with all of the plumbing pictures to the homeowner. That way you can look okay. at it itemized from you know each room itemized with what you've selected. That way you can see the picture. That simplifies things for me so much because that's where sometimes I get feeling like, overwhelmed with things right. like that and, and and most of the time I don't have it right like I'm pretty particular about things but yes. it's nice that you have like it's easy to everything. get confused okay thank you so much Shani that was so awesome thank you it was nice to meet okay. you guys it was nice to meet you guys too have a good day thank Bye. you Joel and I are stopping to get gas and I am definitely coming home with the task to get the finishes all picked out, just like all of the fixtures solidified. Shawnee was really good at knowing like what to put and where and so I've got lots of little tabs that I just wanna go home and kinda think about and then um, get things solidified. I like doing this new house with you, Joel. This is fun. This is fun part. Mm-hmm. I like coming on dates with you. Faucet dates. Cheers. Cheers. You guys come to Zupa's? What's your go-to? Mine is the mango berry salad. Yours is usually the protein bowl. And Joel and I like to share. We split the pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> I was just gonna say, when you don't have your kids for a few hours and you get home and they're gone playing, you take a nap. Joel and I came home and took a glorious nap. Bree had the kids and I'm finding little evidences of what they did. So I've got some goggles, I've got the sunscreen, water bottles, and these are the best towels ever, so I'll link these in the description for you guys. Olivia, will you please? Nah, come here. Will you please walk towards me and put all this stuff away, please? Will you please put all that away? Okay. Thank you. Joel's getting the vlog ready to go for the morning. And guys, what did you all do today while I was gone? We went to the splash pad. Really? And we played. I literally haven't seen you all day. <laughs> And, and we got creamies. You do find some friends there. We got creamies. We got treats, here. and we had um, like uh, things that we had to do. And there was like four colors of the obstacle treat. course. Yeah, obstacle oh, courses. You kind of yeah. got a raspy little voice. And and I sound like an alien. So is every single person's teeth brushed? Yes. Lincoln did not brush his teeth. I knew it. Okay, go brush your teeth. Did you guys brush your teeth? Yes. You three are watch, going to bed right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so Lincoln, you'll go to bed too as soon as you're done brushing your teeth, right? Yeah. This glorious stage that Lincoln is in, he's, 
He's like young and gullible. What did you say? <laughs> He's very gullible. And so every single night when it's time to go to bed, all the older kids go get in bed and they go to sleep. Lincoln is perfectly happy going to bed because he thinks all the other kids are going to bed. It's really glorious. Jig is up, lady. You're just going through the old <laughs> newspaper, huh? <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to go through this thing. We don't All just right. get it for fun. <laughs> well, come to well, that's what James said to me. He's like, did you get your newspaper in the mail? Did you check that? You got to check that. Buddy. <laughs> check that's it. amazing. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for um, watching today's video. It feels really good to progress on the house. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description for Mountainland Kitchen and Bath because they are awesome and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!